So you're about to make your transition from manual biomass power setup to your first automated coal generator setup. Well, in today's video, we are going to go over how to properly set up an efficient basic eight coal generators and three water extractor setup, along with overall tips to make your life easier when setting up your first coal generator power plant. So do me a huge favor, hit that like button and let's get right into it. You can unlock coal by first completing the first phase of the space elevator, which will unlock tiers 3 and 4. Then you need to finish the coal power milestone. This setup does not utilize overclocking. Later on in this video, I will show what you can do if you do have overclocking researched. A single coal generator takes 15 coal per minute and 45 cubic meters per minute of water to produce 75 megawatts of power. If we provide a full Mark II belt of coal of 120 coal per minute, we can provide enough coal for eight coal generators. Eight coal generators will also need a total of 360 cubic meters of water per minute to be supplied but once fed the correct amount of resources they will provide a total of 600 megawatts of power start by making a 5 by 12 platform if you don't have enough space to do this on the water itself you can build it off the water and i'll show you how to connect to it later in this video then put down your first coal generator where the left side of it would begin right at the second foundation. You're going to put three of them down for now and then line up a water extractor so that the pipe of the water extractor is in the middle of the two pipes of the second and third coal generator. You're then going to put in three total water extractors. Then finish doing the next five coal generators for a total of eight. You should now have something looking like this. Next, put down some conveyor lifts on all of the coal generators. I use Mark II here, but you can use Mark I. It'll work just the same. Then we want to set up the conveyor splitters. Now I choose not to snap my conveyor splitters to the lift because I don't think it looks as nice, but you can go ahead and do that if you want to. Whichever way you decide to do it, make sure that the splitter entrance is on the side where the coal is coming in. Then we're going to belt all the splitters up with Mark II belts. And if you do do it like me, you'll want to make sure you belt the little section between the splitter and the lifts. Next, connect the coal and let the coal flow in and fill up while we do the pipes. Start by putting a pipe down from the first coal generator and turning it 90 degrees. Then run the pipe all the way down to the last coal generator and make a 90 degree turn by moving the mouse scroll wheel. Then line up some junction crosses at every pipe entrance for every coal generator and add the pipes. Then line up some junction crosses at the entrance of all three water extractors and pipe those in. This is how you want your pipes to look in the end. The reason for this is it will properly distribute the water flow across all the coal generators without the need for pumps. The last thing we need to do is set up the power lines. Now I'm choosing it to do it this way, just to demonstrate the separation between the water extractors and the coal generators, but you can place them whichever way you want. Either way, start by setting the power lines for the water extractors. The reason we do the water extractors first is to let the pipes fill before we start the coal generators. Once the pipes and the coal line is full, we can then go and set the power lines for the coal generators. Now, the reason we don't start the coal generators right away is because we are using a manifold system for the coal. If we don't let the water pipes fill and the coal fill, then what we are going to see is the last couple coal generators go in and out and there won't be stable power for a while. So you might as well just wait that one minute it takes to fill both the pipes and lines just to be safe now if you don't have enough room on the water and you build the platform for the coal generators on land this is how i would do it i would have two pipes come in on the platform and each pipe goes into four coal generators just make sure the pipe comes in the middle of those four coal generators then i would create three water extractors and the middle one would split 
its pipes into the other two pipes, making sure that each pipe will have 180 cubic meters worth of water. Do keep in mind if you are going to go up with your pipes that the basic head lift is only 10 meters on regular pipes. So if you're going higher than 10 meters, you do need to add these pumps. Just make sure that they're faced the right way and that they're powered and that you have one for every 20 meters going up. If you have access to overclocking, one of the things you can do if you have the space is create four water extractors and underclock them all to 75%. You'll be able to put two water extractors per line, making two lines of 180 cubic meters per minute. But it'll also have the extra benefit of taking less power. It'll take around 50 total megawatts to power those four water extractors versus the typical 60 megawatts to power the the regular three water extractors. On the flip side, you can grab two water extractors and overclock them each at 150%. That way you only need one water extractor per line of 180 cubic meters per minute, but this will cost a little bit of power consumption, 76.6 megawatts for both of these. Not to mention the power shards you have to waste on this. But this is a great option for people who don't have access to a lot of water. And whether you're a beginner or a veteran of the game, you should check out this 40 tips and tricks video that will help you build more efficiently and increase your overall game knowledge.